In this video, we'll explore the anatomy and functionality of the rack environment. To get started, simply drag the plugin object onto a track, navigate to Plugin Racks, and then choose Create New Empty Rack. Along the top of each rack, there are several tools and option settings. First, we have a Modifier Assign button, which can be dragged and dropped onto any plugin within the rack. This offers the same modulation possibilities that you're used to in Waveform, such as LFO, Breakpoint, and so on. Next is the plugin object. Simply drag this into the red box to add a plugin. For this example, I'll add an EQ, and then choose to leave it unconnected. The third button along allows us to simply bring the Rack's Properties panel in and out of view. Next, we have the option of hiding the input and output sections. This provides a larger, less cluttered workspace should you need it. And finally, this I button allows us to either toggle between or switch the rack and stack view. If we show the stack editor, you'll notice we have only one plugin displayed, and that's our EQ. You can stack as many as you like here with the option of display in their faceplates. The left side of the rack is home to its input section, and the right side, the output section. Additional inputs and outputs can be added by clicking the plus sign button. The blue connectors represent the audio path, and connecting left and right channels is both quick and intuitive. The red connector represents MIDI. I'll make the connection for demonstration purposes. The Properties panel below adapts to whatever is currently highlighted. Click on the input and the input options are displayed. Click on the Rack Canvas and properties specific to the rack are shown. Here we can name it and also add new input and output channels. This is particularly handy when working with plugins with a sidechain input or instruments with multiple outputs. Clicking on a plugin brings that plugin's core parameters into view. MIDI mappings, faceplates, and macro parameters can also be created or assigned within the rack environment. Faceplates can be loaded or created for individual plugins, such as this EQ, or at the rack level, giving you control over anything within the rack. There's a lot more to explore, but I hope this video has given you a basic understanding of how racks operate and their potential. Please take a look at the other rack videos for a deeper dive into specific workflows. Thanks for watching.